party last night. I saw her in Kishon, yeah? And I just managed my business, didn't it? And Chanel it was infinitesimally small, but it contained enough matter to create the entire universe. <laughs> 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 Hold on, it's the conductor. Take it. Take it. Take it. Alicia, you're a dead bitch. She's going to the hospital and Marlon is so quick as the ambulance. Hold on, it's the mobile thief. Mobiles, mobiles, mobiles. Doisha! It's Keisha! Babashi! It's Latrina! Professor Watts! It's Nutella! Wasn't that the lady from the bus? <laughs> All you crackers look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, come in, my old friend. Where would I be without my faithful right-hand man, Mr. the Geography Teacher? Headmaster, there's a police officer here to see you. Who? <laughs> police Liaison Officer. Ah. Big Bow, good to see you. Hello, Inspector. Uh, did you get the cake my wife baked for your anniversary? Yes, thank you. I hope the filling was to your satisfaction. Yes, forest fruits, delicious. No, the cake with the money in it. Oh, yes, thanks. Now, as you're probably aware, Bromwell High is experiencing an epidemic of mobile phone theft. Yes, but there's only kids being robbed, not real people, so it's okay. Oh, I'm rather afraid the problem has spread. 90% of the crime in this area is now being perpetrated by this mobile thief. If we can catch him. We've cleared up 90% of our workload and I can take the rest of the year off. What's the other 10%? Murder. We never catch murderers. That's interesting. We've put together a photo fit of the suspect. Young, baseball cap, hooded tracksuit, surly manner. How outlandish. I'm leaving PC Carter here to help you catch the thief. I will expect you to give him full cooperation. And what if we say no? Then you can expect an investigation of your illegal animal trade. What if we say yes? Then everything will be okay. What was snow again? So I think you'll find it's in everybody's interest to make an arrest. Don't worry, Inspector. I'm sure the culprit will be behind bars in no time. Wicked. Oh, you're a good-looking boy. You sure you is a real policeman, not just a stripper-gram? Yes, I'm sure I'm a real policeman. Oh, oh. although I used to be a stripper-gram. <laughs> Is no problem. We're going to sell all endangered species next week anyway. Is it half term already? It seems to come earlier and earlier. We have viewing for all the buyers and then hold auction in the library. <laughs> ah. Shouldn't we wait until the phone thief is caught and the police have left school? Don't worry, Mr. Bib. Ich balles have that boy wrap around his little finger. Like a monkey with piles. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Bib. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting our time with this. Keisha, the careers advice officer is specially trained to tailor jobs to our individual needs. Look, Nutella, I'm gonna be a pop star, you're gonna be a family doctor, and Latrina's gonna be a high class prostitute. Keisha! You can't sing! This is our first step toward adulthood, lady. Once we start working in our chosen careers, we is not ever gonna be treated like children again. The changing rooms in the sports hall are an absolute disgrace. When are you gonna tidy them up? Alright, I said I'd do it, didn't I? Oh. God, I didn't ask to be born. OK, point one. I am here to give you a realistic vocational assessment. Anyone not prepared to face up to the real world of career choice should leave now. <laughs> and point two. Has anybody seen my mobile? <gasps> so Before you ask, no, I was not under arrest again. <laughs> yes, it's a big joke. This is PC Carter. He is our new police liaison officer. I'd like to liaise with him. I saw him first. You're married. The Buddhist ceremony in Kathmandu, please. That'll never stick. Hmm? 
I'm here to catch the mobile phone thief. I intend to use modern forensic techniques to build up a watertight body of evidence. Or, or just arrest nearest person and make up evidence later. Oh, no, we hardly ever do that now. Hmm. It might take longer than we think, Mr. Bib. I just have to hide the animals when no one has never found them. That's going to be tricky. Really? Uh, OK. I'll just give them to the kids to look after. Well, Latrina, how would you describe yourself? I'm tall. I have blonde hair and blue eyes. I mean, your personality. Oh, sorry. I'm tall. I have blonde hair. OK. <laughs> Choose one thing from this list that best describes you. Honest, courageous, kind, loyal. Blonde! Pick a character from a TV show that is most like you. A blonde one! What quality blonde. do you... How... Blonde! Oh. The careers bitch says I'm not just blonde. I'm kind to others, yeah? I like helping people and I have a strong sense of justice. What job are you best suited to? Police force. Well, it's very encouraging that the modern police force is a natural home for sensitivity and altruism. Mm. I told you I like eating people. And? Police force. And that's nice, too. <laughs> so is we going to be policemen then, Keisha? Latrina, policeman is bad. B-A-F. Bad. Latrina, you're not clever enough to be a policeman. You have to be observant. The careers man said I was observant. Careers lady. Why, Van Nutella? OK, watch this. Keisha, hit me. <laughs> With pleasure. <gasps> OK, Latrina, describe my attacker. Um, black? Oh, that's typical. Latrina, this is a friend talking. You're too hopeless, even for the police. I is so you bitches! I is catch the mobile thief! <laughs> <laughs> no one is ever catch the mobile thief. He is a shadow of a shadow in a tracksuit. You'll see. Policeman Latrina is catching. I don't think you realise the damage you has done. Latrina thinks she can actually be a policeman. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to try and fulfil your potential, but if nobody tries, nobody fails, innit? Teacher. <gasps> the clever one. Here. The pretty one. Here, miss. And finally, the little one with the big head. Yo. Right, two things. First, I would really like the register back as soon as possible. And second, we have a new class pet. Now, he's absolutely harmless unless you get too close to him and then he'll hamstring you and swallow you whole like a deer. Can I have volunteers to be first on the classroom pet responsibility rotor? Oh, uh, me. Pick me, miss. Let's have someone other than Nutella for a change. What about you, Keisha? I already got a responsibility, miss. Oh, really? And what's that? The fucking swear box. Well, now you're in charge of the, uh, <sighs> the dragon. Motherfucker. <laughs> what did I say about getting too close? <laughs> be observant, Latrina. <gasps> a leaf? That could be a clue. A bin? That could be a clue. So which children would you suspect of being the mobile phone thief? Uh, when are you going to take down my particulars? Oh, that's a bit old, isn't it? Take mine down first. Hmm. OK, the set of numbers that are prime can be represented as a Venn diagram as it interacts with whole numbers. Ah, <laughs> 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 This dragon is wicked. I just call him Puffy. You know, caring for an animal is a bit like being a parent. Do you know what I mean? Yep. You mean we should be taking more drugs? No. We should be in prison? No. Ah, we should steal his lunch money and spend it on cigarettes oh, and... Oh, never mind. Hmm. So, <sighs> is you caught the teeth yet, Cyrano de Bergerac? <laughs> I is trying hard, but it's difficult. I need to get better clues. And if we take numbers in the Fibonacci sequence... <laughs> I'm glad you find mathematics amusing, Davis. A desk? Huh? That could be a clue. Latrina, you've got to stop this. It's just careers advice. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, look at me. I'm not going to be a teacher. Or will you stop fidgeting and pay attention? Now, if we create another subset 
containing roots, it will consist only of the number one. And outside of the set, nothing but zero. <laughs> what is your problem? All of your answers point to one career, a PE teacher. Why would I want to be a PE teacher? I mean, what does a PE teacher do anyway? Oh, come on, kids. Let's learn how to run and jump. Oh, get your books out. Let's revise for our running exams. I see your point. I think you... Let's translate this bit of jumping, shall we? Well... Oh, come on. Let's see what happens when we heat three grams of sulfuric acid with four grams of oh. star jumps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen my mobile, have you? Do you ever get any trouble from any particular kids? No, 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 no. I'm always one step ahead of them. See, the secret is to watch your back carefully. Always need to watch your back with these kids around. Make sure no one gets up to any mischief immediately behind you, cos that's where the trouble usually... St ah! God! What a lovely uppercut! Oh, good job! <laughs> he is king! Oh, how is it going? Did you catch someone? I think I'm getting close to making an arrest. I think it's someone bad who likes to steal things. Oh, oh uh, maybe the boiler man. Iqbal is meet him in prison, and not in a good way. Just arrest him, then everybody is happy, and your inspector is leave me alone. I can't just arrest an innocent person for no reason. <laughs> I'm not joking. OK, I is hear what you say. I'm a member of the Metropolitan Anti-Corruption Unit. I is hear what you say. Right, you're under arrest for I'm trying sorry. to... sorry. What is Iqbal thinking? Oh! Oh! There you go. Pissy Carla! Oh. Your trousers, your pants. I'm sorry? Aren't you supposed to take down everything I say? That's actually very good. <laughs> Angelo. I don't think this Carter boy mm -hmm. is a real policeman at all. He's not except a bribe. It's unusual, I grant you, but I hear he's getting close to catching the actual thief. I tell you this, my friend. No one is never catch the mobile thief. In my country, he's what we call a chutney ferret. Yes. Hmm. We need someone what will nick the first person they see, stitch them up like a keeper, and ask questions later, like a proper copper. Why don't you try Latrina? Is she a policeman? Well, she's ridiculously young and she's had no appropriate training. <laughs> you sound like a real policeman to me. Hang on a minute. What if they don't catch the mobile thief? The inspector will carry out a thorough investigation of our illegal animal trade. Oh, yeah. Clue. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here then? <laughs> I was looking for clues because I tried to be a policeman. Yes, I know. I was. Mm, never mind. You should use Puffy. He will be a wicked tracker. He's very intelligent. Morning, ladies. Morning, Morning headmaster. Oh. oh. I just need a lead. Something to point me in the right direction. Apropos of nothing, I tell you who is suspicious. The boiler man. If I is cop, I is ask him about the mobiles. The problem is nobody will tell me anything. That because you don't look like a real police officer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Brilliant. Unfortunately, the school is not populated by idiots. Morning, Constable. I'd like to report a mobile phone theft. You're saying you've never seen anyone wearing a hooded tracksuit loitering in a suspicious manner. Are you sure? PC Carter! Inspector, what are you doing here? Oh, it's you. I just give up being in the police. You can have my clues if you want. I don't want your clues. Oh, I'll have that one. I wonder what it would have been like in the police. You'll never know. <clears throat> but it's probably dangerous, isn't it? Not really. Oh. Does it hurt when people throw bricks at you? Only really big ones. Oh! 
things. One, is she still alive? Yes. Phew, his relief. Okay, two, can you still catch the mobile thief? Now you is a cripple on a drip. No, ah. Uh... Oh, fuck it. You should have just checked the boiler, man. What's the third thing? Third thing is about greyhounds. It don't concern you. Now, cause you is screw up, we has to turn to loony plan B. Mr. Beeb, it's time to destroy the evidence. Yes, Headmaster. Well, I blew it. Maybe I'm just a pretty face after all. Oh, like me. I was just a pretty face. Hmm. Why don't we show them all what a couple of pretty faces can do? You mean catalogue modelling? Mm. No, dim nuts. We should team up and catch the thief. Mm. I'll prove my mm. friends is wrong. And you mm. is take the credit and get promotion. Maybe to mm. Super Cop. Hmm. We're gonna do this together, dog. See what happened when you is not give up. You did give up. Yeah, but maybe the brick knocked some sense into me. It hit me. But maybe it hit you so hard that it knocked some sense into me. That's impossible. Well, maybe your brain is connected to my brain with invisible strings. Okay, you persuaded me. Let's go, part. Now. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is fun. Puffy's cool. <laughs> yes. And we've learned to look after something other than ourselves. And that's an important life lesson. Yeah, we big successful at looking after animals. Mm -hmm. Except mice. No, we don't look after mice too good. Ah, oh, ladies, we are looking for the class pet. We just need you to give him back now. Why? We've discovered it's a rare and endangered species. Yes, and we need you to give him back so we can kill it. <gasps> Oh, by kill it, the headmaster means look after it better. And uh, save my own skin. Oh, by save his own skin, the headmaster means help the conservation effort. We just want to make sure it's safe. Oh, by make sure it's safe, the headmaster means kill it. Don't worry, we look after it with as much love and care as you have. <sighs> well, at least we're putting him in safe hands. Come on, Fuffy. Better just have the salad. Uh, PC Carter doesn't like fat women. I'm a size 10. Your feet are a size 10. Um, are there lots of calories in this? No, just kids and rabbits. Ooh, Martin, is that a tiger? You know the Chinese eat powdered tiger thingy for its aphrodisiac powers. Oh, um, is that a tiger, Headmaster? Yeah, you want it. And not all of it. Just the cock. doesn't work. Wait a minute. What's that? It's the baller man's spanner. I found it in the toilet. <clears throat> How could we have missed it? What? Think about it, Latrina, who's the only person we haven't interviewed. Hmm. Aisha! No, you just interviewed her. Think block toilets and mopping <gasps> up sick. My mum! The boiler man, Latrina. And what's the only room we haven't searched? The staff room! No, we just searched that. The gym! Look, I'll just tell you, the boiler room. Oh. Let's go. Yeah. Um. Oh. Can we ask you some questions? I'm the eyes and ears of this place. Nothing happens here without me knowing about it. I've seen things that would make your hair curl. Have you seen anything suspicious lately? No. Nothing at all? Yes, yes, I know what you children think. He's just a stupid boiler man. What does he know? Mm. But let me tell you some pretty crazy things happen down here that you know nothing about. <laughs> Last 
last week, the thermostat packed up. Ah, uh, it's good. Second violin was a little loud. Sorry. It's okay, you're new. Ah, oh, Iqbal, have you caught my thief? If I say yes, will you let us off? Of course. Then yes. Hand him over, then. I hasn't really caught him. I see. Will you still let us off? No. That nearly worked. Can I ask where PC Carter is? Good news is, he is alive. Well, that makes a nice change. Bad news is, he is... ...disappeared. Second violin, I won't tell you again. I can't think of any more questions to ask. Me neither. I hate interrogations. I give Natella a ring. She always knows what to do. She's not there. I try Keisha. Wait a minute. A box of stolen mobile phones. Oh. Oh, that could be a clue. <gasps> oh, my days! I know you've been importing endangered species. Mr. Bibb, is you seeing any endangered species around here? It's very difficult to prosecute without evidence, Inspector. I ate as much as I could, Headmaster. <laughs> oh, Mongo, there is no pudding for you. Stop! We know who stole the phones! It was the boiler man! Oh, <gasps> Iqbal is amazed! How did you do it? Latrina cleverly rang Nutella's mobile number and then followed the sound of the ringing to find the stolen phones. Oh, now I get it. So, I get the rest of the year off. I think I'll start with golf, then carry in a prostitute. I'm sorry I doubted you, Latrina. I was cross because I found out I'm going to be a teacher. <laughs> Unlucky. Yes, we proved we're not just pretty faces. Well, I guess it's a case of all's well that ends... Whoa! Mm. Mm. Ooh. Can I polish your helmet? Oh, please. Mm. You'll be asking to see his truncheon next. Mm. Oh, that's good. Can I see your truncheon? Carter's right about one thing. <laughs> you did a wonderful job, young lady. Do you think I could be a real policeman one day? Oh, dear. I don't think so. Women police officers are an absolute fucking liability. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.